Whoa, I don't come much deader than that. That's 41 meters with the imp. I needed three mil dots of hold over. Just took that rabbit resting off a post. You see the post? It wasn't for uh, I think about 15 meters. I didn't laze him. I just gave him one mil dot old under, which I need to do with the imp at that range. You see, he went over nicely. Pick that one up, that fell near the greenhouse. There he is. Beautiful shot for the imp. It's 44 meters that. Needed four mil dots of hold over because his legs in the air lock. Just beautiful. Well, here's the imp. Uh, and this is where I've just took the shot from resting on the side of this wall. And right down there, 44 meters is the rabbit so what i'm going to do is pause rotate and then we'll have a live walk down all right here we are where i took the shot from with the imp let's take a, a live walk down then 44 meters around about 48 49 yards standing supported just getting dark hopefully the shot tracks picked him up but be careful because there might be some more rabbits around. You can see them on the grass there. One's just running. Typical. I'm just going to. Uh... Right, okay. Right, I'm just going to pause it here. There's the rabbit there, look. But there's one sat on the grass a bit further around. I might be able to get a shot. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the shot. It saw me poke my bow around this wall, but it was just down, down there near that tree. Alright, back to this one. There he is. Nice shot. Really pleased with that. Just as it's getting, uh, just as it's getting dark. Oh yeah, look at that. Brilliant shot placement. Just to the uh, right of the eye. Like I say, all the way from down there, right on the end of this building. Basically level with where them black. Uh, Polythene straw bales are good old imp. Whoa, that was forty eight meters. shot for the imp. Nice headshot there on that bunny. I didn't laze it but I should imagine it's on my zero about 27 yards, 25 meters. <laughs> so that's two jackdaws or crows whatever they were uh, when I first come here and I've just come back to the car and I rub it underneath the horse box from the car. <laughs>
nice clean headshot. Well, as you can imagine at that range, it's a nice clean headshot look. Went over. And it's uh, another one, only a baby. What? We are at the stables and stable manager Hillary wants them all shot because they're causing a major problem. So that's another one she'll be happy about. Down he goes. Nice crow. 38 metres from where I'm standing. him doing his job. Rabbit down here at 48 metres. Got to get the wind right. Hold still. Got him. He goes over he goes that went straight through him oh, I just took that one as I was walking up just sat there I take that one standing unsupported it wasn't far well that was lucky I'm still walking up this edge line when that uh, rabbit just come out of the uh, nettles. So, uh, as I said on the camera, I had to take him uh, standing unsupported, but I might have frightened the other rabbit off. I think he's still there, but whether I'll get up there is another matter. It's 32 meters, I'm just waiting on the wind. I hope you can make him out just in the bushes. Good sign of an headshot, that one, a young one. Well, as I said, there was a rabbit. And when I actually uh, got up here, I don't know if the uh, shop traps picked it up, uh, there was a, f a bigger one, uh, an adult at 54. But the one I was aiming at was a smaller one. <clears throat> there was a bit of breeze today, more than there was last time I shot here. Uh, so he was at 32 meters, so around about 35 yards, I think. For, and uh, yeah, got him. Jumped about a lot, but young ones do for some reason. Mind you, I suppose they've got a really tiny, tiny uh, brain. But that was a nice headshot, uh, and hopefully, he's not gone too far into the nettles. Uh, I better find him. All right. The landowner's just uh, walked up and see he's left his dog lead there. Uh, he's walking his dog around on one of the fields. Uh, so I might as well have a look at these bunnies. Uh, there we go, look, that's one. That is a uh, a nice headshot. His dog uh, found that one for me. Just trying to remember where the other ones are. Ah, here we go. And there's one there. Oh, beautiful shot for the impact. Well, at 48 meter, I'm just... Uh, Google 48 meters and it's 52 yards 
So, 52 yards, four and a half mil dots of old over, times 10 uh, with the imp using H&N field target trophy. And uh, you can see, smashed it straight in the head. Right, you can see behind me there's like this pallet construction and it's sort of like protecting this tree from the uh, sheep gnawing on the bark and damaging it. But it makes a really good hidey place uh, for a static location. So every so often I just pop my head up, survey the field, uh, if I see any rabbits, lays them, uh, and then knock them over with imp. It's like I've just took that 52 yarder. Uh, so hopefully if the rain holds off, we might get another one or two before I have to call it a night. Oh, what about that for a shot? That was 57 meters with the imp. The bottom of that white post, it's 60 meters, 66 yards. Oh, got him! Oh, what a shot! I hope the camera picked that up. Well, this little uh, man made hidey hole yeah, is a great little sniping spot. So I've had a 62, a 66, I think a f uh, 52 if top of my head. Uh, I can't remember the others. But yeah, all from this same position in the corner of uh, an edge, looking over the field, over the permission, absolutely nailing them. Brilliant. This little imp, absolutely cracking rifle. I'm finding it as easy at the minute as if I was resting off a, a post with my PCP. 